OK, I'd like to teach you about a new concept. These are called HTML attributes. They look something like this. We still have our opening tag name and, and the closing tag as before with the slash. But we have an, a new thing called an attribute. Attributes have a name. In this case, I just called it adder. Equals, and then you've got quotes, and the value is inside the quotes. And attributes these days always equal a value. Didn't used to be the case, to be honest, but um, everything we're going to do is, is equals a value. And tags can actually have multiple attributes. An example of a tag that uses an attribute is the anchor tag, which is the A tag. And a full example looks something like this. You've got the opening A. You've got a, an attribute called href. You've got its value, which in this case is a URL. You've got the contents. And then you've got the closing anchor tag. So if we were to render this in HTML, we would just see the word derp, but it would be a link to reddit.com. Anchors are for making links. Let's play around with this in our browser a little bit and see it in action. OK, so we've got our HTML from before. I'm going to clean out some of these tags here so we have a little bit more room to work. Let's make the, the words HTML here uh, a link. So we're going to make a, an opening A tag, an href to www.w3c.org slash HTML, and a closing A tag. When we render this, we see that HTML has turned into a link. And if I were to click this, it would open this page, w3c.org, in a new window. Pretty neat, huh? OK, so quick quiz. Take the phrase below. Uh, we'll take the words my favorite from the phrase below and make those words a link to udacity.com. <laughs> 